Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. So I wanted to show you guys a couple new pieces of gear that I'm starting to make, and I think you guys are really going to like these things. First thing that I'm going to show you is this right here. Everybody wants it. Everybody likes it. This is a uh, bedroll harness system. Right now I currently have in this bedroll, I have two wool blankets, I have a sleeping pad, I have a browse bag, I have cordage, I have stakes, and on the back I have my axe stuffed in there as well. Now this is about the extent that I would personally want to load on this thing, not because it wouldn't be able to handle more, just because it, at that point it's going to start getting uncomfortable. If you want to load this thing down with anything more than what's in this thing now, then right here on the shoulder strap, I would suggest you have me add a little bit of padding and everything else. Because as it is right now, this is just a um, piece of wide leather to distribute the weight just a little bit. But let me pull you in real quick and get you a better look at this thing. Okay, so just like everything else that I do, Everything on this is 100% finished, 100% handmade, 100% hand dyed, cut, burnished, everything. You'll notice that my straps, the edges, they're still nice and burnished. The underside is nice and treated. Everything is done with brass buckles, brass D-rings, and brass halter clips. It's put together by heavy duty copper rivets. And this thing will adjust to various size bed rolls. As you can see, there is still plenty of hole space here if you choose to expand onto this thing. And there is plenty, you know, you can see that it goes all the way around to here, okay? So if you have a very small bed roll, say something like that, it still will cinch down on that as well. Now before I move on to the next item, I am going to let you guys know right now that, that bedroll harness was not made for a customer. That harness was made because it's something I've been wanting to make for a while. So this particular harness that you see right now is available, okay? The, uh, the first person that uh, says that they want it, it's, it's theirs and it's available to ship on Monday. This thing is $165 inside the United States. Outside the United States, it's going to be a little bit more because of high shipping prices. But anyway, like I said, this particular harness system is available if you want it right now. Okay, so the next item, okay, is in a lot of my videos, I see people that have purchased my Baco Laplander sheaths, and they wear them over here with their main, their primary knife. And you can see it's tugging at their pants and everything else. So I thought, okay, if they want to still use their dominant hand to draw it, that's fine. So let's go ahead and add a scout saddle to it, okay? That way they can still draw. They can scoot this over and draw just like this as a cross draw, or they can slide it behind and go scout with their left. It's really up to them. Or if they want to carry it over here, just like they normally would. Well, I mean, it's still got a place for your your loop for your belt to sit, you know, vertically as well. Um, this thing has a very nice fit to it. These uh, fit in the sheaths very nice. Anybody that's ever purchased one of these can attest just how well these things do fit. Hear that slap into place? These things do not fall out. You can see that the shape. See how it's big here and very narrow through here? So just the shape of the Baco makes these sheaths fit very well. Now let's say that um, over time it wears and everything else and you're still afraid that it's going to fall out. Well, just taking a piece of simple paracord like this, putting it through, and putting that just around your sheath just like that, it now prevents it from falling out if it ever did come out, which it's not. As this pulls, 
that's as far as it's going to go. It's not going to go any farther unless you take that, loop it around, just like that. Now, this Scout saddle that I've put on the Laplander here, this is just an add-on, okay? You want to add this particular saddle to your Baco Laplander sheath, it's going to cost an additional $25. For anybody that has already purchased my Laplander sheath and they would like this mounted to it, it's not too late. Send it back, we'll throw it on there. Okay, so let's say that you do have one of these bed roll systems or you have purchased one of my universal shoulder straps. So here's another thing that you can do. You can mount your Laplander sheath just like this now. So now you've got your, your bed roll, you've got your axe tucked into your bed roll, You've got your knife on your side, and you've got your Laplander right here at the ready. Just by having, you know, this universal shoulder strap on one of your um, haversacks or something like that, this now allows you to have your Lap Laplander out in the open and everything else ready to use where you don't have to open up your haversack, dig into it and everything else. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys, is you guys have seen my personal ring belt that I wear all the time and all that good stuff, okay? Well, you know, these things are uh, $55 on my website. Something that you can do, though, is um, you can buy these things just raw, okay? Just like this. I had a gentleman request that I make one just out of plain leather, not undyed. He didn't want the edges burnished or anything. He just wanted it plain. The only thing he wanted me to do was oil it real nice and treat it, you know, with the, the Obernoffs. So that's exactly what I've done. So now this thing, um, you can allow this thing to uh, patina naturally uh, with its natural color. And the other good side of this is this belt is now $30 instead of 55 or excuse me, $35 instead of $55 because I didn't have to dye it, I didn't have to burnish the edges, and I didn't have to treat it really hardly at all except for oil and, uh, you know, top coat. So can't beat that, right? All right, guys, that does it for me. Those are the new items. Um, take a look at the website, wolfcustoms.com. Uh, you can see all these new items. Visit it frequently because there's new items added all the time. If you go to the uh, new items link, you will see those items, as well as some other cool items in the other categories. So check it out. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good one. Welcome to Wolf Customs, the home for the very best leather goods, both for the common man and the individual that wants a little more for their equipment. Company founder Justin Wolf has been an avid outdoorsman his whole life, so he understands what it means to have good reliable equipment. All Wolf Custom items are hand cut, hand dyed, hand punched and hand sewn. No sewing machines ever touch our items. We offer many handmade woodsman and bushcrafting products with high quality standards. Nevertheless, we are able to offer the high quality handmade affordable woodsman line with pouches, sheaths, leather kits, cases or repair kits with a price range of only $20 to $55. Our pouch section is filled with different handcrafted leather pouches for multiple uses like the Strider, Messenger, Companion or Journeyman series. Depending on the amount of leather and time, we can offer pouches with a price range of $55 to $250. Every bushcrafter knows that a sturdy belt is one of the most important items you need outdoors. Your knives, water bottles or tinder pouches are attached there and you really don't want to lose them. Wolf Customs offers three different very solid belts. The ring belt, the double ring belt and the everyday belt. We use high quality steel for the rings and thick sturdy leather. For $55 to $65 you get some belts that will keep your gear there where it's needed, right at your body. The most important things in the woods are water, shelter and fire. A fire kit is the essential item to have outdoors. Wolf Customs offers traditional and modern devices like cottonwood bow drill sets, antler ferro rods and a complete fire kit series called Firefly that you can get for $15 to $65. 
Always keep in mind all items are handmade and of high quality material. Keeping the blade of your axe in a good shape and protecting yourself in the same time is a matter of good covers. Wolf Custom offers different hawk and axe covers for Fiskars or cold steel. You need a sheath for another model? No problem. We can customize it for you in the same great quality. If you ask any bushcrafter what is your favorite item, he will say my knife. A knife is the number one item in the outdoors and therefore Wolf Customs puts a lot of effort and time in crafting sturdy, safe and high quality sheaths. Our customers say that our sheaths fit the knife like a glove and this is what we want. We only use the best materials and literally build the sheath around the knife. We offer sheaths for Mora, Ontario, BK2 or PLSK and even Laplander folding saws. Of course, we'd love to make your custom sheath for your favorite knife. Send us a picture, the measurements and we sure will make you happy. If it comes to customizing, we can't tell you fixed prices, but we will give you a solid estimate of costs on which you can count on. Please take a look at our homepage gallery and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us at wolfcustoms at yahoo.com.